Liz and Mike from 105.1 The Buzz joining us live right now. Good morning. Morning. Hey, good morning. Good morning. We were listening to a little Dolly there because she was named uh, one of People Magazine's People of the Year for 2021. Yeah, they put a list out with a bunch of different people on it. Dolly Parton made the list for a couple of reasons. One, she was partially responsible for one of the COVID vaccines that we received this past year. Uh, and then two, because of her program where she helps with literacy rates across America by providing books to children up until the age of five. So I think that's amazing, fabulous, and huge. Mm -hmm. The other people that topped the list, though, were Simone Biles, who had us talking about mental health with everything that happened at the Olympics and giving too much of yourself in the workplace and all that went with that. Uh, and then we also have Sandra O, oh, which she's done a lot. She's always forever Dr. Yang to me though, from Grey's Anatomy, <laughs> my favorite character ever. Yes. And then they also give a shout out to all the teachers across America, America for how they've handled the last year and how tough it's been. Wow. And preach there. That's, yeah. a, that's yeah. much needed, much deserved on that front. A recognition for sure. All Yes, all good people doing a lot of good. Yeah, Dolly Parton is one of those, like, you don't always hear about it. You did with the vaccine stuff, but she's just, she's always doing so much charitable work. And we just love her. We just love Dolly. <laughs> She yeah. really is. I mean, she has she done anything on the actress front or the music front in a long time? No. But we're still here talking about Dolly Parton, and we love her. She's never going to go away. She's an American icon and treasure. Mm -hmm. she's, she's always out there she's being an a icon. Couple, she's done a couple holiday movie kind of things, right? She did Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat or the Coat of Many Colors, and then uh, mm -hmm. she did some, I think, stuff with, like, Hallmark Channel. But, yeah, no, she just she's always giving back, and she's just Dolly. We just love her. She's just Dolly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, and you remember too, they wanted to like make a statue of her to thank her for all the amazing things she's done in Tennessee. Right. And she literally was like, don't make a statue of me. Spend <laughs> that money on people who need it. Yeah. And like, she's just always good people. So I'm a huge fan. And I think it's great that she's getting a mention this year. Yeah. She that should is, be mentioned yeah. every really year. Cool. Me too. Do mm -hmm. I, I'm going to try to like, can I real quick tell a Dolly Parton? Dolly Parton okay, I'm, okay, I'm going to do this as fast as I can. I just found this out in like the last few years. She has a song written and dedicated to Eugene, Oregon. So when she was in the 70s, she was on tour in Eugene and she was super homesick. And when oh. she went up on stage, she didn't really want to perform. But the crowd in Eugene back in the 70s urged her on. This is before Dolly Parton became like Dolly Parton. Maybe it was even earlier than the 70s. And uh, she wrote a song to Eugene saying, oh, thank wow. you for helping this homesick girl. So you can go out there and find it. It's just called Eugene, Oregon. So I thought that that was really cool. Fun fact. I know. Awesome. No I fact. thought you were going to say it's I will always love you. That's what I was hoping. For. <laughs> I, I, wish I, could, I wish I could say that. But I don't right. know. It just even shows you, like, even something like that, Dolly takes the time. Like, it, it, me it meant so much to her in the moment to still write a full song. Like, she's just a caring person. As if I needed another reason. She's just the best. I know. Oh. <laughs> All right. I, I, HBO, by the way, so kind of switching gears here, spent mm -hmm. $30 million on a Game of Thrones prequel, and then what happened? They decided they not, they're not going to use it. <laughs> like, can <laughs> so you imagine? Funny. So they were doing this prequel for Game of Thrones. They put all this money in it. Like you said, $30 million. The different actors that were attached to it were posting on their social media that it was coming soon. And then apparently the, the head boss people sat down and watched it, and they were like, oh, do you like that? I don't like that either. That's not really on par with the brand. And they decided to just trash it. Oh, $30 million dollars and just trash it. And apparently this happened in 2019 and we weren't made fully aware, but the former Warner Media chairman, Bob Greenblatt, I guess, he's the one that revealed this in an interview. And could you imagine, you're going in for contract negotiations this year. You work for HBO, you sit down and you ask for a cost of living raise and they say, oh, sorry. Yeah, we don't have it in the budget. And then you just pull out that interview and you're like, well, I can't help but see that you spent $30 million on something that didn't get used. <laughs> on a show that never right. even aired. Right? Oh yes. my gosh. I'm surprised to hear that kind of restraint. I feel like you would normally still just throw it out there you and they would like just can they still make some money on it something. you know yeah. you know what probably happened is they watched the last couple episodes of game of thrones right before they watched the prequel and they were like you know what let's just call it a wrap because we're not going to win anybody back over with this yeah that's true you've already got some skeptical fans <laughs> saying yes. we were burned by yeah, that finale burned and heartbroken oh, yeah yeah i mean well. they're still working on some of the different spin-offs and things i believe there is more game of thrones content coming uh -huh. but the fact that they could spend 30 million 
on just a pilot of one yeah and well, walk or, away <laughs> originally i guess they were going to give us like the white walkers side of the story and that was going to be the prequel they released those posters and, and teasers for it and everything but now they've switched gears and from what i've heard it's going to be more of like the khaleesi's family side of the yeah, story the, and, the and the dragons stuff. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I'll still watch. We'll <laughs> so see. So much money. <laughs> How many millions of dollars will get that off the ground? I don't know. All right. Thanks, you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, friends. Take Bye. care. Uh, again, you can listen to Liz and Mike every weekday morning on 105.1 The Buzz.